Guys Boy here. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at how Team Beasts Among Men were able to take down uh, Game 1 of the Battle Cup Tournament. Now here we're going to be looking at a pretty slick draft from this team here. But obviously uh, we're looking out for the star player, uh, the Beast Among Men himself. Uh, I believe his name in this game was What's the Basis. So as you can see on the middle lane here, the mid laner already letting him down. Uh, this Huskar player, pretty shit. Uh, this Lina just absolutely destroys him. Burning Spears, not enough damage, and the Lina's gonna get an early lead here. Meanwhile, on the uh, bottom lane, this Jakiro player clearly has no idea what they're doing. Uh, just kind of runs into an Arc Warden and a Dazzle. Uh, will end up going down here. Um, which is just not really helpful if we look at the top lane. Uh, I don't know what that was. Uh, that was a, definitely a clip. Uh, back on the bottom lane here. Uh, as you can see, the Jakiro once again just just being worthless to the team. Uh, just runs into the jungle and dies. Uh, a bit of an epic fail from him. Obviously, the mid laner actually able to clean up on the mid. Goes for a gank on top. Uh, axe is, is going to go down here. Good job, you killed an axe. Great work. However, he just does not know when to quit, and when the Sand King gets gone on, he just goes right back in. Dazzle having uh, Shallow Grave clearly uh, has no impact um, on that Earth Spirit's life, and uh, he is instead saves it for himself. The uh, selfish twat. Um, I'm losing this accent. Uh, the Arc Warden on the bottom lane. Ah, oh, here we go. This is the interesting play right here. Uh, this Faceless Void. Um, uh, as you can see, a master of efficiency, not going to be using the chrono here, uh, looking for the lucky bash. Uh, of course, he could have that, that chrono could have missed uh, if he TP'd out sooner, we don't know. He had said, decided to save it, so he could miss it later on. Uh, <clears throat> the <coughs> the uh, That chrono is known in the business as a zoning chrono, uh, pretty common to see in the pro game. Huskar just goes in anyway, uh, he armlet toggles once, what a big guy. Uh, Dazzle will end up going down here, but there goes the Huskar once again, and, um, Jakiro just does not know what he's doing, just runs at Lena, and, uh, the Arc One's gonna survive on very little health there, so it's beginning to be a bit of a disaster for Team Beast Among Men, a gank on mid, and watch the two supports here, now, this is a in very interesting move, they just kind of stand there, uh, especially the Lich on the left side of your screen here, uh, just kind of standing around, uh, it's fear, fear of Earth Spirit with no follow-up, and uh, that's going to be a triple kill on the mid lane. Uh, just kind of giving them kills at this point. I think uh, team, I don't know what the other team was called. Uh, really, the Dyer really clawing it back here. There's only one thing that could save this game, and it would be a huge Chronosphere on the back cry. What a crispy play. That's a <coughs> four-man <coughs> four Chronosphere. And as you can see, the star player right here, we gotta zoom in, uh, yeah, the, uh, Lich taking a couple of kills with Chain Frost there, but it was all the Purple Man, um, obviously not to be outdone, uh, the Purple Man always trying to improve himself, uh, he's gonna look for a sick chrono in the back lines here, he will get it on the back lines, but as you can see, his team really, uh, let him down there, uh, thank God. I mean, he, he's trying his best, uh, Ark Warden coming in here, Huska had the Aegis, thank god Ark Warden built like a moron, uh, he can't really do much, he will end up going down here after the Shallow Grave times out, but the Lina gets another kill on this net worth, it's beginning to get a little out of control, Dazzle builds a Midas of some reason, another sick chrono from the, from Faceless Void here, uh, as you can see, three, or two technically, but, um, Lena able to make the escape because of the Ethereal Blade. As you can see, his team is just not helping whatsoever. They just all go on one axe. Uh, moving forward here onto the Dazzle. Dazzle is going to end up going down. I'm just casting at this point. This is not even analysis. Uh, Lena on very low health. The face is Floyd trying to get to her, but the rest of the team seems far more interested in the Arc Warden Illusion. Uh, he's going to have to teleport back in here. Uh, the Sand King pops his ultimate. It uh, hits the guy, maybe. And uh, that's gonna be four men down for the for the t for the dire here. And as you can see, the Kiro uh, hits a stun. Uh, meanwhile, on the top lane, Thanos Slada back at it again. Uh, as you can see here, he has an Aegis, which uh, 
is a good pickup on Husk. I always recommend building that Aegis. It's uh, it's only 1.5k gold. Uh, Jakiro just just he really just isn't good. Uh, I've completely lost the accent at this point. Husk has rest the TP. Uh, for some unknown reason, he has the Aegis here, and as you can see, the rest of his team are going to try and save him. Void picks up the Arcane Room because he's just a master of efficiency. And uh, now, with the Frost Armor up, Sand King coming in with the ult. Will we see a Chronosphere here? We will! Wow! Onto the two biggest boys. He tries to hit the Lena, gets Shallow Graves up, onto the Axe. The rest of the team really obsessed with that Axe, and, uh... Void going for Lena alone is not going to work out too well, especially not with the Arc Warden coming in there. Um, but, I mean, I guess we could say, I, I don't want to say the Void solo carried this game. But, um, it definitely would have been a lot tougher uh, had he not uh, hit that sick crone. As you can see, it's off cooldown again. What will he get this time? Well, who's who's he going to fish up today? He's going to actually stun his friendly Huskar. Uh, that was his punishment for all the bad things he's done this game. I uh, guess a first hit bash on Lena. That's the skill level that you really don't see from a lot of Void players getting the first hit bash. Uh, Lich just presses Q on Lena, and that's going to be a, a buyback used. And now with that buyback, uh, Team uh, Beast Among Men. Well, some of them are going to work on the building. Some of them are just going to walk around aimlessly and die. Um, another kill picked up there by Purple Man, and uh, it's really just dominant performance. Uh, he still has the BKB if he needs it. Uh, as you can see here, uh, looks like we're, we're going to work on more bags. The Dazzle died, apparently. Axe coming in for the, the huge call on one Sand King. Uh, Lich with a pretty sick fear there. I mean, you know, he, he pressed the button there. Yeah, that's, that's pretty impressive. Uh, the Barracks just, just getting hit. Uh, as you can see, the build here by the Void... Um, he, he got a Manta Style, which is useful as an item in this game. Oh, here we go. Here's another fight. Uh, Huskar uh, getting hit by an Huck 1 who doesn't isn't really controlling his illusion very much. As we can see, the Refresher Shard in the Void's inventory. He definitely shouldn't die. Uh, he he uh, tactically dies as uh, a distraction place for the Huskar to go in. Huskar doesn't go in. Uh, to get the BOTs, you know, it's a bit of a struggle. You've got to sell a couple items. You know, it takes a little while. Uh, BOT's coming in, Axe, just, just chopping away, oh, there it is, there's the beautiful, and then he just gets another one, that's just, that wasn't even a refresher shard, that was just through power of will, and, uh, that's, that's gonna really round it out, so anyway, guys, make sure to, uh, retweet and reblog this video, uh, really appreciate it, make sure to check out my SoundCloud, I make, a uh, lo-fi hip-hop beats for 30 quid commission, um, make sure to, to follow me on Twitch, my art station, my Patreon, uh, make sure to check out, uh, I have a podcast, 